What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today I'm very excited. You see, the lovely folks over at Jasco Games have gone and given me a bunch of exclusive cards to reveal from the My Hero Academia collectible card game. Seven exclusive cards that hopefully, at least, you've never seen anywhere before, and they're all based around Sir Night Eye, the first ever Sir Night Eye, and. I've watched this arc in the anime now, and I'm not sure what to think after having seen the conclusion of the arc and why I was given this particular card. Now, we are going to have a chat through all of the cards, but I know not everybody watching this is going to be tremendously familiar with My Hero Academia, the card game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a very brief rundown of the basic rules. If you are an experienced player who has clicked this video to see the new cards, go to the timestamp that will appear on your screen now. And that is where the new cards are starting. Good. Good. So My Hero Academia then, what we've got is, well, the first thing you need to know is about the different types of cards. So we've got our South character cards around which you build your deck. And they've got the usual thing. You've got your hand size. You've got your health. But then you've got this number, which will help you perform checks. We'll get to that in a second. And your block number, as well as various skills. Outside of that... We've also got attack cards, you use them to deal damage, foundation cards that help you out, and then to be fair, we've also got a couple of other cards that work in a very similar kind of way. Your board looks basically like this as you play the game, and what you've got is your card pool, they're the cards you're playing, every card you play gets progressively more difficult to play. And then you've got your deck, your discard, your character, and your momentum, which are basically cards that will G you along as you go through. Now, essentially, one of the weird things about My Hero Academia, one of the unique things, is how you actually go about playing cards. So, if we have a little bit of a look here, as an example... At passing the torch, the number in the top left-hand corner is the printed difficulty, and there is a progressive difficulty. The first card you try playing during your turn goes in the zero slot. You don't add to it. But then the second card has plus one difficulty, third card plus two, etc., etc. You get the total difficulty, then you discard the top card of your deck, and if the top card of your deck, when discarded, has a number in the bottom right-hand corner equal to or greater than... Good news, ladies and gentlemen, you rock, you get to play the card. It is worth noting that you can actually commit or tap your foundation cards or your character, each of which will add one. So if you would have been slightly away from being able to play a card, don't worry, you'll be fine. Now, there is an enhanced step. Basically, this is where you can activate abilities while attacking, some of which can be very, very useful. And then when you get to attacks, you've actually got high, mid, and low attacks. So your standard attack will look a little bit something like this, and you'll notice that you've got the damage it does if it is successful. You have got the speed of the attack, and then you've got a cost just like we saw with playing cards a moment ago. And this comes into blocking as well. So basically, when you're trying to block, it is very similar to when we were playing cards, except what you do is you take the speed of the attack, you add on the block modifier from the card with which you're trying to block, and then that number in the bottom right-hand corner had better be the right kind of number, equal to or higher, and then you get to block. And then you do a check, as we said a moment ago, which will determine whether or not the block is successful. One thing that is very important to note is that there are different levels of attacks. So you've got adjacent zones, i.e. that one or the one either side. You can see on the screen what can block what. But it's important because if you are blocking with the same zone, i.e. blocking a high attack high, you take no damage. But if you block with an adjacent zone, blocking a high attack mid, you will take half the damage rounded up. You cannot block unless it's the same or an adjacent zone. That is pretty gosh darned important. And then as I said earlier, momentum basically is if an attack goes through, you can add it to your board as momentum, and then you can use that to activate various skills as you go along. So with the preamble out of the way then, welcome to those of you that just skipped ahead to see the new cards. We've got the character card Sir Night Eye. And what we've got here is hand size of 6, health of 27, and there is a response one per turn. After an attack is completely blocked, seal a non-character card in your rival stage or card pool, 
and draw a card. Sealing basically means taking away its abilities for a turn. So you basically get to turn a card off for the rest of the turn, which sounds like fun to me. Plus, you've got draw power here. So a bit of disruption, bit of draw. Sounds good. Enhance. Remember, that is what's coming in when you're doing attacking. Your attack. Remove the top card of your deck. Discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Remove all non-attacks discarded this way. Your attack gets plus one speed for every five cards in your rivals removed from the game pile. So basically, one of the things Sir Night Eye is trying to do here is take advantage of the number of cards that have been removed from your opponent's deck. Now, an important rule that we didn't get to a moment ago, let's mention it now. We've got what's called cycling in the deck. Because obviously, you're drawing cards and you're discarding cards as you do checks, etc. What happens is that when you run out of cards in your deck, you shuffle your discard pile to create a new deck, but remove the top 10 cards of the new deck from the game. If you're ever cycling and you run out of cards, then you instantly lose the game. But what's important here is not only is Sir Night Eye taking advantage of all the times cards are naturally removed during cycling, but is also able to remove extra cards during your attack and actually gaining speed on attacks as well. As the game goes along, your attacks are going to get very, very fast indeed. Speaking of attacks, we have got a few we can look at here. We've got Counter Sweep. This is a five difficulty attack. It is a free speed low attack dealing six damage. Enhance, if your rival has more removed cards than you, draw two cards. But bearing in mind we just looked at Sir Night Eye, they are probably a lot of the time going to have more removed cards than you. So you're drawing two, that's awesome. And another enhance, now you have to commit one foundation. That is to say you have to tap or put to one side one foundation. But then you remove the top two cards of your rival's discard pile. So once again... You are removing your opponent's cards from the game and you are enhancing your own abilities while you do so. And then it's got the keyword powerful free and there's a note at the bottom to remind you what that does. Discard one or more momentum. Remember we talked about that a minute ago. This attack gets plus free damage for each momentum used to pay the cost of this ability. Your attacks are going to be getting very fast as the game goes along and now you're adding a whole bunch of power. Just saying this could end up being pretty good as we go. Now, we've got a couple of other attacks to look at. We've got Precision Seal Strike. This is a four difficulty attack, three power, mid, five damage, and it's got an enhance. Your rival reveals the top three cards of their deck. You may discard any cards revealed this way and return the rest to the top of their deck in any order. So basically, this allows you to do two things. Firstly, you are removing cards you don't want them to see. That's good. Secondly, you are hopefully leaving the card stacked in such a way as your opponent is actually losing out. That's a very good thing as well. And an interesting enhance, if your rival has one or more sealed foundations, bearing in mind the character Sir Night I can seal foundations, then you get to change this attack zone. So sure, it starts as a mid, but you could look at your opponent and go, well, you haven't got any blockers other than low. So I'm going to make this a high attack. Yay! And then we got Stamp Out, a 4 difficulty attack, 2 speed mid, 5 power, combo enhanced, must be comboed with slam. This attack gets plus 2 damage. Remove the top card of your rival's deck. You're going to see some patterns here, ladies and gentlemen. Sir Night Eye is trying to remove your cards and then take advantage of having done so. There is then a response after one or more cards leave your rival's deck during this enhanced step. Bearing in mind we've got a combo enhance which will do exactly that. This attack gets plus two speed. And there is a reminder at the bottom. Combo slam means this attack's combo enhance cannot be played unless the card immediately preceding it matches the requirement. In this case, that it is a slam. Nice. I mean, I'm terribly biased here, but these look pretty good. Now we have a foundation card, Sir Night Eye and All Might, or All Might and Sir Night Eye. Bearing in mind, canonically, remember they were partners back in the canon of My Hero Academia. We've got a one difficulty. First enhance on your turn, commit. Add the top card of your rival's discard pile to the top of their deck. Why would you do this? Because you put a card they don't want to see on top 
and you've got a little bit of disruption going on here. Bearing in mind we saw this with Precision Seal Strike as well, you're basically trying to stack the top of their deck. I find this funny. We've then got Deadlock Enhanced. Now, you do have to destroy, but you also seal two rival foundations. And, of course, we did see a moment ago Precision Seal Strike. If your rival has one or more sealed foundations, you can change the attack zone. This will work very nicely indeed. And, of course, this should kind of be obvious but first enhance is only playable if you've not played any other enhances i.e it has to be the first enhance we've then got a couple of other foundations we've got detailing the plan a two difficulty foundation it's got a response after you block with this card draw a card if the blocked attack had throw it deals no damage so it gives you extra options when a defending or blocking against throws this is a good thing. And then Sir Night Eye Enhance, commit your character to discard the top six cards of your rival's deck, which will get them a lot closer to cycling, which will get them closer to removing a bunch of cards from their deck, which, as we've mentioned before, is a very good thing. And then the final card we've got to reveal here is Seal of Approval, a two difficulty foundation with a response. After this card is discarded due to a rival effect, draw two cards and it's got a response destroy after your rival plays an ability on a non-character card in their stage seal all copies of that card in their stage not the first time we've seen a card in sir night eyes oh, i want to say deck but that's not really the right word is it suite of cards that can sit here and do some sealing and i am loving it and I know I'm incredibly biased here, and I don't particularly care. I really like the look of this. And I think it's fair to say that when I'm deck building after Undaunted Raid, I'm building this. I'm so biased, I don't care. I'm building this deck. If you've got any tips, by the way, chuck them down in the comment section. Make my deck awesome. For now, one more shout out to the lovely folks over at Jasco Games for giving me the reveals. This was a huge amount of fun to do, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about these cards. Tell me if I can build a great deck with Sir Night Eye, or whether I'm getting overly excited because I got the reveals. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about, whoa, a whole bunch of card games, including My Hero Academia. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.